and gentlemen, really glad to be here to celebrate the 75th anniversary of NATO. But this is not about the celebration, not only about the celebration. And we have to do more in order to strengthen our alliance, which is one of the most long-lasting and credible alliances in the world. As for me, as a president of Lithuania, it's very important that the decisions which we had taken last year in Vilnius are in uh, the stage of implementation. We need to do more and we have to spend more because Russia's uh, war in Ukraine is far complicating the situation. The security situation in the region is deteriorating. Russia's uh, uh, economy uh, is working full-scale uh, to service war machine and what is important also we have to take note about the role of Belarus the neighboring country of Lithuania because this country is fully available for all kind of activities of Russian Federation in order to destabilize the situation at the border Right now, we uh, know what, uh, how complicated is the situation at the border with Poland because of illegal migration and hybrid attacks against Poland. Recently, it was the case in other countries, in Latvia and Lithuania. So this is the reason why we have to spend more attention to the eastern flank of NATO. And the best instrument to do that is, of course, uh, uh, forward defense. Boots on the ground is the best deterrent, deterrence factor in the eastern flank of NATO. I, I am really glad to say that uh, we are very successfully working with our close ally Germany in deploying the full-size brigade in Lithuania, which the process which will be completed in 2026. And this is a very good example and inspiration for our partners, for our allies to follow. For me, as a representative of eastern flank of NATO, it's very important that we go forward in increasing the defense spending, defense investments. Uh, it's very nice to see that our 2% club is expanding, but 2% as a threshold is not sufficient enough uh, looking from our perspective and Lithuania is committed to increase this defense spending up to 3 percent and uh, in the coming years to do more. Uh, very good that we spent the prior, prior attention to the Ukraine and I think this is very important that Ukraine receives positive signals comparing with Vilnius language, language of the last NATO summit. Irreversibility of the process is important. The bridge is important, but of course our friends, Ukrainians, uh, expect more. And I hope that after the victory there will be no question about full-fledged membership of Ukraine in NATO. So those are the issues which seem to be very important for us. And we, as I mentioned, we are glad to participate in this high-level summit and looking forward to cooperate with our allies in the future. President Alsay, you mentioned the importance of Belarus as a Russian ally. In recent days, the Chinese troops have been training close to the Polish borders, working with their Belarusian counterparts. Isn't that a sad indictment of the failure of NATO, the West, the EU, the United States to isolate Russia on the international stage with key players such as China? Well, it's very important to see the efforts of Russia to involve other countries in this war uh, against Ukraine. And you mentioned Belarus. I didn't mention very, one more important factor, the deployment of Russian nuclear tactical weapons in uh, Belarus. According to our knowledge, this is a reality. So those are deliberate attempts of Russian Federation to complicate the situation at the border. And of course the involvement of China and other countries is also a very important factor. We have to pay more attention to this. But so far our diplomatic efforts did not bring a sufficient result in that regard. But it doesn't mean that we have to put more efforts in order to get a positive result in the future. Ukraine was NATO necessary and bullied by the kind of language also the Summit Declaration? 
Well, uh, as you uh, know, uh, it was hard discussion in Vilnius how to send this positive signal to Ukraine, and I think we found the uh, good language in Vilnius summit, and probably there was limited room to improve this text in Washington, but I think it was the case, and irreversibility means that uh, it's, first of all, this is a signal not to Ukraine so much itself, but to Russian Federation, uh, that we are committed to go this way and to finalize it after the war is uh, finished. I think uh, this is if improvement. If we, we are talking before the NATO summit in Washington that we have to find the formulas Vilnius plus language, I think we found it. I don't know how, how big is this improvement of the tax, but th that this is improvement, that is for sure. Well, I think this is important to understand that we are different and our attitude to the war in Ukraine is different. But even knowing that, that some leaders have a little bit different position and attitude to, the, uh, to this war, we still are able to find the consensus at the table, especially now uh, having a 32nd uh, member of NATO at the table we still are able to find necessary solutions, necessary uh, wording in order to go forward. Uh, it's not so easy. I represent the country in the European Council. We have 27 members there. We have here even more members at the table, but we are still uh, able to do that. And I think this is most important. Thank you. Yes. Šinote, visada galima kritikuoti bet kokį tekstą, tačiau man atrodo, kad svarbu yra tai, kad Vilniaus kalba ar Vilniaus retorika yra ne tik tai pakartota, bet ir pagerinta. Ir aš manau, kad uh, tikrai reikia žiūrėti pozityviai į šitą uh, uh, būtent uh, retoriką, kuri yra Vašingtono viršūnių susitikime, nes tai yra pozityvus signalas pirmiausia pačiai Ukrainai, kad procesas yra nestabdomas, kad procesas priklausys nuo tų reformų, kurios Ukrainai gyvendina dabar ir kad šitų reformų rezultate Ukraina taps Europos Sąjungos nare, ir NATO nare, ir nemanau, kad tokioje tolimoje ateityje. Tai e, aš vis dėlto siūlyčiau žiūrėti į šį e, tekstą iš konstruktyviosios pusės, nors sutinku, kad galima kritikuoti bet kokį tekstą, dėl to, kad jis galbūt nėra pakankamai reištingas ar nepakankamai stiprus signalas siunčia. Tiesiog tai yra šiandienos šios minutės konsensusas, kurį pasiekėme ir dėl to tą konsensusą turime branginti. Taip, aš manau, kad oro gynybos rotacinės, oro gynybos sistema mums buvo labai svarbi nuo pat pradžių ir mes tikrai labai džiaugiamės, kad turėjome šito principo įgyvendinimą Vilniaus ir Šūnių sustikime, tačiau lygiai taip pat puikiai supratome, kad jos įgyvendinimas nėra toks paprastas dėl dviejų priežasčių. Pirma, kad na, oro gynybos sistemų laisvų, kurias galėtų teikti mūsų alianso nariai atskiroms valstybėms, ištekliai yra labai riboti dėl suprantamos priežasties, kadangi jų reikia Ukrainoje ir ko gero labiau netgi reikia Ukrainoje. Antra problema buvo ta, kad iš tikrųjų nebūtų labai iškio sistemos, kaip atskiros šalis pildo tą oro gynybos sistemą, užtikrina tą rotacinį principą. Ir tai buvo daroma, na, tokių, aš sakyčiau, individualiomis pastangomis, kuomet prezidentai arba kiti valstybių vadovai važinėdavo ir prašydavo kitų sostinių suteikti vienokios ar kitokios sistemos. Tai, kad visą tai atsidurs po NATO stogų, Koordinuojant NATO yra labai gerai ir aš manau, kad tai suteiks daugiau, na, sokio, sakyčiau, postumio pozityvaus į priekį ir mes galėsime pilniau užpildyti ir įgyvenantį šitą principą, kurį, kaip minėjau, numatėme dar Vilniaus ir Šūnių susitikime. Ačiū.